welcome to a new D-Lab series, everyone. You've seen me repair amps over the years. You get the overall picture. Normally, recap your amp, check for bad connections, pop in some tubes, and you're off and running. So many of you said, Terry, we're kind of tired of that. We'd like to see you go a little more in depth to help us understand how the amps operate. So that is what this series is about. I'm going to start with Class A amplifiers. I'm going to take a working model. I'm actually going to sabotage it and induce faults that I've seen over the years, and I'll show you how to find the problem. What do you think of that? So these videos are going to be short to the point. I'm going to give you a systematic approach. We'll identify the problem. I'll give you three different things that it could be, and you can guess. Then I'll show you what the real issue is. We'll correct it and retest the amp. All right, our first little case study here is noise on the base pot of a Fender Champ. I have seen this problem many times over the years. Guys have sent me their amps and they say no matter what I do, I just have this strange rumble in my base or treble pot. It could be either pot, but in this case, it's usually the base pot. So I'll show you the symptom. Got our volume up. Here's my treble. See, she's all right, but now let's go over to the base pot. Hear it? And it's throughout the entire travel of the pot. It's not in one area. So at this point, what could be the issue? So let's consider three options. Could it be a dirty pot? Could it be a defective preamp tube? Could it be one of the capacitors on the board? Those are the things you want to consider while we go a little further into the troubleshooting of this amp. So the customer told me he did actually clean the pot several times. And then after that, he got fed up and put in a new pot. And guess what? The problem remains. All right. This is where it gets good, guys. So what's going on here? is we actually have a capacitor that is leaking DC. Okay, so if you envision your tone caps, they're supposed to pass a signal, but block DC. So let's take a meter and look at these two beautiful tone caps and see if there's DC on the side that feeds the base pot. So if you look at your schematic, you'll see your two 100K resistors that feed the plates of the 12AX7. From there, it exits through this 100K resistor and goes to your two tone caps. So on this side, you're going to see something close to your plate voltage. Okay, So 245 volts DC. But on this side of the caps, you should have zero volts because that is feeding the signal to your base pot and this little guy over here feeds it to the treble pot. So these two caps feed the base pot. This guy is a 0.1 microfarad and this one is a 0.047 microfarad. Let's see what we have for DC on these two leads. I've got 0.8 volts on the blue cap and I have 0.3 volts on the brown. Remember, they're both going to the base pot, so if there's DC here, it's going to loop around, and you'll also see it on this cap. So that is the issue. We have a leaky capacitor. This thing could be as high as 10 to 20 mega ohms, but it's enough to allow DC to come through, get into your tone pot, and cause that rumble. So let's change the cap and see if the problem goes away. Okay, I've changed out both capacitors. The blue one is the one that we suspect and the brown one was also in the same circuit. So either of these two could have been generating the problem, but I'm pretty sure this is our culprit. Let's recheck our DC voltage now. Look now. Zero volts. Let's see if we have any rumble on that pot. No. So that solved the problem. So I'm hoping the way that I presented this information makes sense and will help you guys if you run across this kind of a problem. And believe me, I've seen this many times. Not only because of a component failure, but some people actually get in there and put 
resistors across these caps thinking it's going to change the tone characteristics of the amp and they actually induce this problem okay the other thing is is now hopefully you guys understand the value of recapping an amp I'm not doing that just to kind of shoot in the wind and say yeah it's gonna fix it I do it because I know that it fixes immediate problems and other underlying issues that you may not be aware of so if you guys enjoy this series let me know I've got a whole bunch more lined up I want to keep you guys on the D-Lab team I think maybe this is the way to do it